By now you might have plenty of characters in your scene walking in different directions. What if you have intersecting paths and you need to make some characters stop to let another row of characters pass? Anima has this covered. With the traffic light you can stop characters for a period of time and then trigger them again to continue walking. Just click and drag the traffic icon in the viewport. Now place it on the walkway. By default the traffic light starts on a red light. With the gizmo you can rotate the traffic light and the arrows in the grid will show the direction and the amount of characters that can be placed in this area. Let's make several traffic lights to understand their behavior. Now let's select this one and switch the start green button to yes and let's do the same for the light below. Just by leaving the object by default you can see that now some characters are stopping on the red light and the others are moving on the green light. Okay now let's go in depth into the properties. For example the cross lamp frequency controls the time when the light changes color. This unit is measured in seconds. The estimated time to cross calculates the average time in seconds for characters to get across the road. The rotate placement grid rotates the arrows inside the area changing the direction. Remember that the traffic lights will affect only the characters that enter the area in the same direction. Cell size placement grid controls the size of the square. Each square will hold one actor, so the more squares you add, the more populated the area will be. The radius will increase the size of the whole area, and below you can change the area shape from polygon to circle. By using a polygonal shape, you can add or subtract vertices. With the rotation slider, you can rotate all the area the same way as with the gizmo. And finally, the translation boxes help you move the traffic object on an X, Y, and Z axis.